worried by the number of out-of-school children, OOSC, in the country. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has visited some northern states with leading number of out-of-school children to express concern over the growing number despite huge investments. Nigeria's figure of out-of-school children, OOSC, stands at 13.2 million, with North having the highest. Chief Education UNICEF Nigeria, Wuse Ifrits, while on a visit to Governor Aminu Bello Masari of Katsina State and later to Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje, said that the Northwest shares the huge burden of OOSC, hence the need for the visit to decry the growing number. According to him, SDG data on OOSC show Nigeria as worst in indicators, while the Northwest shares the huge burden. Bumi Adedoyi, an educationist, shared her views on this issue. For any right-thinking person, that is disheartening. 13.2 or 10.5 is so bad. And sincerely, there needs to be a, a fast approach to addressing this. Nigerian children is about 40 million. 10.5 million is out of school. 60% of this is from the north. So what is the expectation? What is the hope of this nation? When the education of a country is disturbed, is affected, that country is going out of extinction gradually. What, what can the government do? It seems there's always, we always go back to them. What can they do to address it, this you growing see, number? A, a, lot, a lot they can do. Let's look at the budget for year 2019. How much was allocated to education? We really have to increase budget for allocation. Education is a basic thing. Everywhere in the world, in other places, developed countries, education is basic. When you give me education, you have empowered me. When you give a child education, you have empowered the child. But in Nigeria, the opposite is the case. Government needs to increase budget allocation for education to make sufficient provision at primary school level, secondary school level, even to tertiary school level. Kudos to the present administration of PMB. They have mandated primary education. But how effective is it? The Minister of Education, as a man at the end of the affair, needs to have workable committees that we monitor schools on a quarterly basis. If for the northern part of Nigeria, we had 30 million naira or 30 billion naira to improve on primary school education, do we have reports? Do we have feedback? Do we have follow up? We just give money. There's no follow up. There's no reports. So anyone can just get the 30 million naira and do away with it. But if you're on a quarterly basis, people have to come with reports. Government have to come with reports. Commissioners have to come with reports. Then they, 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 they will They'll be, they'll be pushed to work. Look at the, the school in Delta State. The Delta State governor has been sued for, you know, the terrible state of primary school in that state. It's not only in Delta State. Let's go to the east part of Nigeria. It's that part of Nigeria. Let's go to the northern part of Nigeria. The, with, the, with, with the advent of the Boko Haram attack in schools, how many children are still in school? Many of them have been displaced in the first place. Do you think of education when you are displaced? You don't think of that. So it's not only about Niger, I mean, Delta State. Many other states, the northern part of Nigeria, especially, that has been, you know, disturbed seriously by the Boko Haram attack. So the, the Minister of Education needs to have workable committees that will monitor schools' expenses and they will report on a quarterly basis. A defaulting school will be summoned, will be punished, if need be. Sincerely, we really have to go outside our chores and see what is obtainable in other countries. Well, if you, if you were to start a review of the curriculum of education, yeah. what aspects do you, would you suggest that more attention should be paid? Sincerely, every aspect of Nigeria curriculum, like you said, is a holistic thing. Every aspect of Nigeria curriculum should be reviewed. It should be practical oriented. It should be it, it should be it should, it should be more attractive than what it is. There are quite a number of equipment in some schools, secondary schools, especially when they introduce this latest system that has not been opened. So what are we talking about? Let's make our curriculum industry related. What we are doing in school is different from what we are doing in the industry. In developed countries, what they are doing in school, we are learning what they are doing in industry. By the time a child finishes from school, he will go to the industry.
country. But in Nigeria, it becomes a very terrible thing because the child was exposed to something else in school and something different from what he was exposed to in school. So our curriculum should be industry related. If the students are exposed to that early enough, not, you don't have to wait in tertiary institution. At secondary school level, we can, we can start entrepreneurship, which we give them their own mindset, which we prepare them ahead of the so-called labor markets. You don't have to wear a white collar job. You don't have to look for a white collar job. You could be a furniture maker. You could be a tiler, and you're doing well, doing good in the industry. All right, before I let you go, what's your words to children as they celebrate Children's Day? Children, 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 they should be more obedient to their parents. They should be more cooperative with their teachers in school. When you're obedient to your parents, when you're cooperative with your teachers in school, success is sure.